Yo everybody, Chris here to show you a couple of comic books I just got in the mail, a couple of back issues, newer issues. Um, so yeah, just want to quickly go through those, give you guys some updates as well. Uh, planning on picking up some books tomorrow um, for the, uh, was it November 10th and uh, the week previously, but um, I don't know how that's going to go. I just got an email today from uh, uh, the fellow shop owner um, uh, that I usually go to, Roy. He's uh, missing shipment for the 10th, um, so maybe he, by the time I get there, maybe the shipment will be there. Um, and he's trying to contact Diamond Distributors to see what happened. He only um, got some graphic novels and, and uh, some small um, orders. So, uh, yeah, we'll see if I even get them. But uh, if not, we'll see. Might be able to go to uh, another shop and pick up some, but I'd prefer to get them all there. Um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, it's Remembrance Day today. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Remember. <laughs> um, that's about that. Uh, myself, I don't have anybody, any family members who has been in the war or anything like that. But um, And I don't usually prefer war and all that kind of stuff. But uh, anybody who has a loved one who has um, served and whoever uh, has given their lives, uh, try to remember them and just know that they, um, you know, gave it all knowing and thinking that they did the best for their country and um, the people that live in them. So they did out of love for their country and people, um, so let's remember them. So let's get on to the comic books now. Uh, first, I'll show you guys Ape Sapien, Abyssal Plane, number two. This one took a while for me to get. Uh, we missed that one uh, quite a while ago. And just a short story with Abe and this artifact down in this, I think it was a Russian sub. Um, you know, and then you get some water looking zombies. Uh, it was pretty neat. Uh, interesting little short story. Didn't give as much of an impact on this issue number two as I wanted. Uh, probably going to read good in a, in a trade. Um, usually a lot of the Hellboys BPRDs, they do read and trade very well. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm liking getting individual issues. But yeah, really interesting little Abe story. Um, I'm, I'm happy with it, but uh, yeah, like I say, a little bit better if it was read in, in trade. Um, <clears throat> then we have BPRD, Hell on Earth, New World, issue number <laughs> three. A um, lot going on in BC, Canada. And we get to see uh, Daimyo uh, again. And uh, he's got a face kind of like a kind of like Jonah Hex and uh, sort of, you know, it's all torn up on the side and um, he has some mystical background and uh, some happenings with uh, some Wendigos in previous issues, so it's good to see Daimyo uh, back. A um, lot messed up going on, like say, that people are messed up and, and these giant creatures and big, big thing happening and um, they're hinting at uh, Hellboy coming back. Um, in this one, they kind of give you some foreshadow for it, as they were doing in uh, the storm as well, saying that he's going to come back to the BPRD. So I'm hoping in uh, issue four or five, really hoping that that he does uh, come back. You know, for the end of this first first arc, it'll be really great. Um, you also get to see the end. Um, the person who says, "I'm here for my son," so because there's this lady with a kid, and I guess there's something you know that pulls it all together, what's making all this crazy happening here, you know, for this son here. Um, yeah. So, but really good series, love it, from the pages of Hellboy, and I don't know what they're gonna do when Hellboy comes in, are they gonna end the Hellboy series for now and just have him in the BPRD or what, but I'm really looking forward to them getting all back together. Um, here's one I was really looking forward to for quite a while, Haunt, issue number 10. I'm really liking the series, and uh, it's one that I, I, you know, it's near the top of my stack to read, um, and it's it's a really good series. You know, I, I've mentioned before some of the problems I have with Kirkman's writing, um, and you do feel a little bit in this series, um, a little bit on the on the outside, and um, you know, it doesn't really his writing doesn't help you along sometimes with uh, the feelings and getting into the characters. Um, but you really got to take it for the story that you're seeing happening in front of you. Um, and, you know, he leaves questions and, and just lets your imagination play a bit. So, 
it's it's happening, and I hope things that I want uh, from the series will happen. He's just not really hinting and just you know leaving you on the outside until things do happen. But uh, in this one, uh, Daniel and his brother there um, haunt. Uh, they're being tortured and trying to get some information from them, from the bad guys, and then eventually he um, comes comes out of it and uh, he gets away. And then they have a fight with the boss here, Big Daddy, and then the you know tides turn and he's captured. Um, and uh, before he really gets into their I guess torturesque or interrogation, um, things turn again and you get to see what. Uh, Zerg here has been doing, I think that's his name, Zerg, <laughs> I'm not sure, I can't remember, or Herg, it might be Herg, uh, but anyways, the bad guy, you get to start seeing what he's been doing with Schillinger's uh, notes, the fellow who was uh, creating these, um, working with on a reanimation and, uh, you know, super soldier-esque kind of stuff, and obviously has something to do with uh, Daniel and this Han stuff, so uh, really neat that the bad guy is going to be in possession of um, this information and knowing more, so Daniel can't you know, they can't just go straight to killing the bad guy or whatever. He's really got to find out what's what. Um, so yeah, really interesting and, and uh, I don't know, love the art. Polo stuff is always great. Um, yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> that's that. Enjoying the haunt stuff and like I say, I'm just um, working into it and I'm just hoping more of the stuff that I wish um, um, Kirkman is doing with the series. I hope that will unfold, you know, and, and one thing I really hope they do <coughs> go back to is... Um, Daniel's priesthood, because um, I think there's a lot of potential there for, um, you know, a lot of a lot of story, um, and this is expanding into quite a big universe. Uh, also, a note here, I just remembered, at one point there was uh, kind of a shadowy figure, somebody with glowing eyes, um, right after the fight with um, the bad guy there, he's, this, I don't know, this person, this thing was hiding in the shadows and the eyes were just glowing. So it gives you this hint too. There's this other character on the sidelines, you know, fly on the wall, looking on. So that's interesting too. Um, don't know who that is. Yeah. Pretty cool stuff. So that's that, you guys. Uh, hopefully, I'll be getting my book soon. And also next week, um, on the 16th, is the release uh, for the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Uh, picking up on PlayStation, getting the Harlequin um, um, Collector's Edition. Uh, so I think that's going to be really cool. So since I get that, I want to unbox that and show that to you guys. I know there's already some unboxing stuff on the net uh, from Ubisoft, actually. But, uh, yeah, I'll show you mine. And, yeah, <laughs> I think it'll be really cool, and I'm excited to play it. Um, hopefully I'll be able to pick it up right on the day and uh, show you guys and maybe uh, give you guys a little uh, footage of the first few minutes of the game if you haven't yourself been able to order it for the 16th. Yeah, so that's that, you guys. Uh, I'll see you later, and um, bye.